there's a part of the path that I uh, didn't show you because we was on the loop trail. Show it to you now. Looks like they got a bit of wind debris here. <laughs> there was a limb back there that uh, we had to go through uh, under actually uh, to go to Woodard Bay. Well, some people were passing under and I was passing under and I didn't realize there was a limb so I started to come up and uh, the limb advised me it was there by conking me on the head. Oh well, I think all it did was knock some sense into me. It told me, hey, look before you stand. Uh, still looks nice out here. Actually, I think the uh, wind debris kind of adds some character to it, but yeah, I would say clear it up so people can uh, come up here. I would actually make it so uh, you could uh, roll a wheelchair up here. Yeah, there's a lot of people that would like to see this. I'm trying to show the world just by making a video, and I'm sure y'all like it. Okay. Hey, uh part of this area it used to be uh, part of a railroad track that's why they call it the Western Chehalis Railroad but uh, well, look at this something from that time part of the uh, uh, metal parts that they would uh, attach the rail to the uh, uh, ties with the uh, spikes but I've actually uh, I've actually seen the uh, train when it was still a railroad here uh, it used to go uh, uh, by the neighborhood I live at now. I, uh, when I moved to that neighborhood, I remember maybe one or two trains going through there. Uh, before I moved to that area, it was almost like there were about maybe three, four trains a week, something like that. Not really a daily one, but it's a nice area here. Look at that. The Boyd's. Nice little uh, view for the uh, neighborhood over there. That house there, especially up there. I can see through the trees. Probably hard to get it with this uh, tree right there. Uh, houses right there by the trail. It's got to be a bonus living out here. I'd go crazy. I'd be like, hey, I ain't doing anything but walking around here. I see people who walk here every day. I got to start walking every day. I gotta lose my belly. I actually gotta start, gotta start doing uh, push-ups, sit-ups, all kinds of stuff. Uh, uh, some friends mentioned I need to give up drinking. I gotta do that. Uh, I gotta give up smoking. I gotta do that pretty fast. I'm not sure when. But anyway, I'll let you go now. Horses, of course, is what do you think? Pretty rad, eh? I don't think Mr. Red lives here though. I like this is that veterinarian clinic over there. He's uh, I think some of the horses might be in uh, care of private owners. Well, they all are, but I believe some of these, uh, most of these horses might actually be patients. But look at that. I like horses. I rode a horse a couple times in Germany. It wasn't really all that fun. They uh, wouldn't let you really ride the horses. It was more like, say, uh, if there were kids on a horse riding excursion. Back in Illinois, my aunt used to take me horse riding, me and my cousin. I remember one time I had fun because the horse ran away, so I let it go. I was on it. I wanted to go fast. And I did. And I thanked the dog that scared the horse and the horse for being scared. Yeah, we're not really too far away from home. I would say about three, three and a half miles, something like that. You can tell we're racing the sun. Look at power back. Oh yeah, power is out uh, slightly at my house. It came back on. I was able to charge all my stuff up. Uh, 
fact, right now, check this out. It's my uh, battery. Hey. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, see? My spare battery. That blue light, that means I'm charging my phone up now. Pretty cool. This thing will probably be charged up all the way by the time I get home. I'll just have to charge this bad boy up. But, okay, I'll be showing you more in a bit. Yes, I will. <laughs> of course I will. I'm just that shy, ain't I? Hopefully you'll see this bird here, an emu. I totally forgot about it on the way out. We'll just see how shy it is. Oh yeah, there you are. Neat bird. I think it would actually get mad at me if I didn't, uh, <laughs> if I didn't include it in one of my movies. Yeah, bud. You gone to the Cannes Film Festival. Bloody ale. Okay, buddy. We're leaving you. I'm racing the sun. I want to get home before it's dark. It's been a good walk. I'll be calculating the mileage later. All right. Yeah, they had this block some time ago. Probably this block. Somebody probably just said, hey, we're coming through. I like it. It works. Unless, of course, I get arrested. Chris Baskin. We'll try not to do that. Yeah, they're supposed to have this uh, finished by, uh, I guess, spring this year. I can't wait. I call it my bridge. I'm sure you know it's not really mine. But basically, I'll go this one over uh, uh, Martin Way. And then there's another one. Uh, I don't know if you saw the blue uh, rails along its side. That one goes over the I-5 corridor. Anyway, I can't wait till they get it done. I think it's looking pretty good on this side. Yeah, hurry up, people, hurry up. Get it done so I can use it. Okay. Just wanted to show you that. Well, bloody ale. I guess that was today's walk. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I actually enjoyed making it. If you know me, you know I love walking. But, see you next time. Hopefully I'll, uh, who knows what kind of movie I'll make next for you. But, see ya. Bye-bye.